In this video, we're going to take a look at automation in Arrangement View in Ableton Live. I've loaded up a project of a short piece of music I wrote for an ad to demonstrate some things. You can toggle the automation mode on and off with this button here. When it's highlighted blue, you're in automation mode. When I expand one of my channels, I see that the default automation lane is mixer and track volume. Mixer refers to the device. In this case, you can see I've got a glue compressor down here. And in this drop down, we can select the glue compressor. And then underneath in the second drop down are all of the possible parameters we can control. Under Mixer is where we're going to find track volume, panning, send amount. You can manually click at points on this dotted line and it becomes a solid line. Once you've created a point, you can, by clicking and dragging on it, change its value. In this case, we've got volume ramping up three decibels and then back down. By right-clicking on the automation line, at the bottom of the drop-down, you've got some shapes to choose. And if you select one of the shapes, Live will apply that curve to your automation line. You can further edit that manually. So this is volume automation. So I don't want to go too loud, but I'll demonstrate by soloing this channel and playing. And you could hear that it faded out to zero, those hits here. If I want to clear the automation envelope that I've created, I can just click Clear Envelope to bring it back to its default state, this dotted line, which means there's no automation for track volume. A quick way to go directly to a parameter's automation lane is to right click on the parameter. I'll select the dry wet of the glue compressor. And the top selection is show automation. You can also show automation in new lane. So when I clicked Show Automation, it automatically switched to Automation Mode and selected the glue compressor dry wet amount to the automation lane. I can manually add points. I can use preset shapes and I can clear this envelope if I want to start over by hovering over most controls in Live's interface and right clicking it will reveal a show automation option when you're adding multiple lanes of automation on a single track like I've made some volume adjustments here by selecting show automation in new lane it creates a new lane for each automation control by right clicking on that track header I can select clear all envelopes and clear all automation envelopes at once In this project, I've got some groups. I've got, for instance, acoustic guitar group one, which contains two microphones for the acoustic guitar, and the same for acoustic guitar two. It's the same performance, but two different microphones. I can add automation to either of these microphone channels 
Or as I've grouped them together, I can add automation to the group channel itself. Return channels have automation capabilities, as does the master channel. On any of these channels, you can control the track controls, which would be found under Mixer. And in the case of the master channel, it also contains the master song tempo automation. And you can automate the tempo of the project from the master channel, one of the choices in its automation dropdown. From the acoustic guitar group, I'm going to automate the reverb send. I'm going to use really extreme settings so that we could hear it. Did you hear that tempo increase? The <laughs> I'm going to clear the tempo envelope. With automation, a little bit can go a long way, and you can overdo it. But what I like to use as a rule of thumb is automate everything a little bit. Really small movements will create interest in the mix without becoming a distraction. If you notice it too much, back off on the amount. <laughs> You can automate at the group level and the tracks within the group. You can automate audio tracks and MIDI tracks. I'm going to add a chorus ensemble effect to the xylophone group, and I have the group soloed. I'm going to automate the dry-wet signal.
I'm also going to automate the feedback amount using a curve. When you select an area and apply a curve, it stretches it to the full amount of the area you selected. Let's automate the rate as well. 